In this video, I'll be showing you how to install ZSH in Ubuntu. We'll be using Ubuntu 15.10. But before we get started, I actually want to go ahead and show you here. I'm at jaceacademy.com. This can also be found below this video. You need to run this command from the terminal in order for this to work. So I'm going to go ahead and just copy this. I'm going to click on this link here. This is going to take me over to the GitHub repository. And a couple things to note here uh, before you actually get started. You can actually do this in two different ways with wget or curl. I'm going to be using wget and I'll be using the terminal here. So I'm going to go ahead and paste this into the terminal. Click enter. And it's going to say please install zsh first. So in order for you to install zsh first, you need to do sudo app get install zsh. I'll prompt me for my password here. I'm going to click yes. And this is going to go ahead and install zsh, which is a dependency for uh, ZSH, the, the application itself. So I'm gonna go ahead and let this load. That went ahead and finished. So I'm gonna go ahead and run this command one more time. And now it's cloning. Uh, one note here is you actually have to have Git installed uh, before you actually run this command. So if you have not installed Git, go back to a previous video and I'll show you how to install it there. So it looks like it needs my uh, password here and there you go uh, all my ZSH is now installed in your operating system a couple note a couple of side notes here to know um, the main configuration file for ZSH can be found right here so if you do vim paste that in there so it'll take you into this configuration file and you can do a couple things here uh, depending on how you want to go ahead and configure this there's a lot of different options that you can navigate and configure ZSH to do something very specific. So if you have a specific setup in mind, you can actually go through there and set this up. I'm just going to show you here really quick how to set up a custom theme. So if you go over to more of them here on this link they provide you, it's also linked below this video. So and it will show you all the different um, themes that are actually available for you. Let's just go ahead and give, uh, let's see, this one looks cool. So it's Odin. Actually, I, there's a better link here. I believe it's plugins. No. If you want to look at plugins, you can look at those, but I'm looking for the themes page. Um, screenshots. Yes, it's this one here. So here it shows you all the different themes that are available for you. These are right out of the box. You don't have to install anything specific. Uh, let's just go ahead and go with candy here. Go back in the terminal and I'm going to go down here. Get rid of this, do candy, write that out. And you want to go ahead and let the terminal know about these changes. So you do a source.cshrc. And there you go. Now we have the candy uh, theme installed here. And that's all there is to, to installing different themes on ZSH. And you can actually go back over here. And the default theme is actually this one right here. Ruby Russell. Ru Robbie Russell. So I'm going to go back into here and edit this out one more time. Take that out. Write that one more time with source on this. And we're back to where we were. Again, that's all there is to it. Go over, the, go over to their GitHub repository if you have not used ESH before. And just kind of look through all the different configurations you can do. This is a pretty... Uh, it's a pretty big project, so there's definitely lots of different configurations you can run through here and set this up.